Speed drill 11. On your marks, get set, go. seconds. All right, pencils down. Go ahead and get out something of a different color to braid. Starting in the first row, top right or top left corner, excuse me. 36, 8, 40, 21, 6, 16, 28, 25, 12. Second row, 27, 12, 10, 20, 10, 18, 0, 35, 4. Third row, 32, 30, 20, 12, 15, 30, 16, 15, 24. And the last row, 9, 18, 8, 40, 0, 24, 45, 3, 14. Count up how many got correct. Fill in the graph. And then turn to lesson 11 on page 38. Yes. Can we redo um, the second one and the third one? 27, 12, 10, 20, 10, 18, 0, 35, 4. Ready for the third row? 32, 30, 20, 12, 15, 30, 16, 15, 24. All right, two step story problems. Two step story problems. Sometimes we must work two problems to find the answer to a story problem. Problems like these are called two-step two step story problems. Read this two-step problem. All right, listen. There's going to be two things we have to do. Nine lambs were born to the flock on Monday. Can you stop? Just, you're shaking the thing. Four of the tiny lambs did not survive the snowstorm on Tuesday. On Thursday, two more lambs were born. How many lambs were there in the flock? So that, that one has three numbers in it. So we started off, there were nine lambs born. Not the time. There were nine lambs born. Four of them did not survive the snowstorm. But on Thursday, two more were born. So what we would have to do is step one, we need to subtract the lambs that died in the snowstorm. So we started out with nine, four of them died. So we did nine minus four to get our answer, which was five. That was the first part. So the second part was two more lambs were born. So how many did we have now after the four died? We had five. So then two more were born. So we needed to add two to that. So five plus two, which was seven. So what's our answer? What answer would I write down? What answer would I write down? Anastasia? Seven. Seven, because that was the final answer after we followed the two-step story problem. So go over to number one. Let's do it together. I want you to take out your pencil and we're going to underline any numbers that we see. We're going to underline any numbers that we see. The Weavers had 87 
cows on their dairy farm. Last month, 14 calves were born. Father sold seven of the calves. How many cows and calves are on the farm now? So we have three numbers to work with, two steps. Well, what does the first part say? There are 87 cows and 14 were born. Last month, 14 were born. So what do I need to do? What's my first step, Fernando? Um, put 87 and 14 in the solution. Um, then what do I need to do to those? Um, then you put minus. Minus, but there were 14 born. Oh, wait, um, plus. Plus, because they had 87 cows and 14 calves were born, so we need to add those together. So what's seven plus four? Everly. 11. 11. One plus eight plus one? Zane? 10. 10. All right, so we have 101. What is our next step? What's our next step? It says father sold seven of the calves. Father sold seven of them. So what do I need to do, Anastasia? You have to put 101 minus seven. 101 minus seven. All right, what's one minus seven? Everly. You can't do that. What do I gotta do? You gotta cross out one, one and zero. Good job, nice. And make it, and make it what? Uh, nine. Nine, good. I need to cross out. Well, I go next door and Everly's like, uh-oh, no, it's a zero. We can't borrow from a zero. So we have to cross out both those numbers and then what's one less than 10 because 10 is the, what I crossed out? Nine. Nine. All right, so then I've changed my one to an 11. 11 minus seven is? Anastasia? Four. Four, and then I just need to bring down that nine. So what's my final answer? What's my final answer, Riley? 94 cows left. Right, 94, we'll say cows and calves because that's what it says there cows and calves good job you guys yes well did you get some first grade did you you did the two-step problem mm -hmm. this one's gonna be a little bit more difficult with uh, the numbers i did this in the second grade so one of the weaver's cows weighed 1605 pounds whoa that's a big cow after being sick for three days she lost 58 pounds within a month, or I'm sorry, she lost 58 pounds. Then within a month, she gained 37 pounds. How much does she weigh now? So what would be step one? So our cow weighed 1,605 pounds. Then she, was, she got sick and she lost 58 pounds. So what do I need to do, Zane? Um, you take away, you cross up the 16 put 9 on top of them and make that 15. And How do I set it up? I don't even have my problem set up oh, yet. How do I need to set it up? Um, 1,065, I mean, 1,605 goes on top and 58 goes at the bottom. Good. Am I going to add these together or subtract them? What am I doing, Zane? Take away. Take away, because she lost 58 pounds. Whoops, I wrote the wrong number, didn't I? 58 pounds. All right, what's five minus eight? I can't do that. Can't do that. Uh-oh, uh-oh. It's a zero. Oh, then you have to cross out the zero and the six. Right, so I have to cross them both out. What's one less than 60? What's one less than 60, Everly? 95. I mean, 59. <laughs> 59, 59, good. And then I change my five to a 15. So what's 15 minus eight? Somebody shout it out. Zero. Seven. Seven. Oh. Nine minus five is? Four. 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 And then five minus, I don't have anything there, so I just bring it down. Same thing with the one. I don't have anything to subtract it from, so I just bring it down. All right, what's the second step? So after she lost 58 pounds, within the month, she gained 37 of those pounds back. So Anastasia, what do I need to do? You have to put 1,547 and then plus 37. Good. 7 plus 7 is? 14. 1 plus 4 plus 3 is? Shut it out. 8. 8. And then again, I just need to bring down the 5 and bring down the 1. So what's my final answer? What's my final answer? Everly. 
1,584. And then what's my word here? 1,584 pounds. Good job. All right, so there you go. A little intro to two-step story problems. You may go ahead and begin the We Remember. Yes. Um, speaking of this, I remember us doing this in second grade. Sweet.